in this video we are going to discuss by using potentiometer how to compare emfs of two cells by sum and difference method in this method we are going to use both the cells at a time in the circuit but in two different combinations that is in assisting and opposing mode first we will discuss assisting mode which is used in sum method in assisting mode the cells are connected to each other so that the total emf of combination becomes e1 plus e2 as shown in figure this is the circuit diagram for comparison of emf of two cells by sum method which consists of combination of cells in assisting mode it's connected in a circuit as shown in figure now by closing key k the current i it start flowing through the circuit which is given by the driving cell e now by touching the jockey at different points on the potentiometer wire null point p is obtained for which the galvanometer shows null deflection that is potential at point p is equal to potential at negative terminal of the cell e2 it means we are not drawing any current from the cell combination that is the combination is acting like open circuit cell combination in this case the length of wire between ap is called balancing length for the sum combination therefore let ap is equal to l1 is the balancing length from higher potential end a of the wire ab as no current is flowing through the combination e1 plus e2 the potential difference across ap is proportional to the emf e1 plus e2 therefore e1 plus e2 is equal to i sigma l1 where sigma is equal to resistance per unit length of potentiometer wire or e1 plus e2 is equal to k l1 where k is the potential gradient let this equation as equation 1 now we will discuss opposing mode which is used in difference method in opposing mode the cells are connected to each other in such a way that the total emf becomes e1 minus e2 as shown in figure this is the circuit diagram for comparison of emf of two cell by difference method which consists of combination of cells in opposing mode is connected in circuit as shown in figure now by closing key k the current i is flowing through the circuit which is given by the driving cell e now by touching the jockey at different points on the potentiometer wire null point p dash is obtained for which the galvanometer shows null deflection that is potential at point p dash is equal to the potential at positive terminal of the cell e2 it means we are not drawing any current from the cell combination that is the combination is acting like open circuit combination in this case the length of wire between points a and p dash is called balancing length for the difference combination as no current flows through the combination of e1 minus e2 the potential difference across ap dash is proportional to the emf e1 minus e2 now let ap dash is equal to l2 is nothing but the balancing length from higher potential end a of wire ab therefore we can write e1 minus e2 is equal to i sigma l2 where sigma is resistance per unit length of potentiometer wire or e1 minus e2 is equal to k l2 where k is potential gradient consider this equation as equation number 2 therefore from equation 1 and 2 we can write e1 plus e2 upon e1 minus e2 is equal to k l1 upon k l2 simplifying this equation by using componendo and dividendo we get e1 upon e2 is equal to l1 plus l2 upon l1 minus l2 by using this formula emfs of two cells can be compared by potentiometer now we will discuss precautions while using potentiometer the emf of battery that is driving cell 
must be greater than the EMF of combination that is E should be greater than E1 plus E2. The positive terminal of the combination must be connected to that end of potentiometer wire where positive terminal of the battery that is driving cell is connected. The potentiometer wire must be uniform. The resistance of potentiometer wire should be high.